Hello my dear students, I welcome you all for SVK tutorials. Those who are not subscribed to my YouTube channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel. So in this uh, video, I am going to discuss uh, the model question paper 1 uh, for the fourth semester with the subject title called uh, Mathematics Foundation for Computing, Probability and Statistics. So and also this uh, model question paper can also refer uh, for uh, uh, 18 CS 36 uh, so they can also refer uh, the module 1 I am going to whatever I am going to solve now. So I will be solving question number 1A, 1B, 1C in this video. So now moving on to the solution. Consider the given question. Define tautology. I need to define tautology. So then we need to determine whether the given compound uh, statement is tautology or not. So this is what the given uh, compound proposition. So they have provided the compound proposition. You need to identify whether it is an uh, tautology or not. So first, let us go with the definition of tautology. So definition should be uh, perfect here. So you need to define uh, the definition properly. A compound proposition, a compound proposition. This is what the called as compound proposition. A compound proposition which is true. It should be always true for all possible truth values of its components is called tautology is called tautology this is the definition of tautology so now moving on to the next part of the question they have provided the compound proposition now i need to identify uh, whether the given compound proposition is tautology or not means the final solution of the truth value should be true so as they have given uh, three propositions p q r so we require to have eight truth values so for that eight truth values p has been defined like this 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 0 q has q has been defined as 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 0 r has been defined as 1 0 1 0 one zero one zero now i need to identify this uh, truth value this value first so in that first i will find out proposition of p disjunction q i'll find out p disjunction q you should know the definition of p disjunction q p disjunction q is uh, false for means it is uh, false means zero it is zero for both truth values are zero so here in this uh, column p and q both the truth values are 0 is only in the last two rows. So that's why I have put 0. The rest of the values are 1. The rest of the values are 1. So next, we continue that part. So P disjunction Q implies R we have. So we should know what is the definition of P implies Q. P implies Q. So we should know P implies Q. P implies Q. If P is true, that is 1 and Q is false then the answer is false that is 0 if p is 1 and q is 0 then it is equivalent to what 0 so for that reason i have defined that as what i will identify 1 and 0 so i have 1 0 1 0 implies 0 so similarly 1 0 is 0 so where else we have i have here 1 0 0 so i have defined 1 0 as 0 the rest of the values are 1 Next, moving on to the next part of the compound proposition. Here we have logic uh, by implication here. So I need to find out negation R and negation of P disjunction Q. Already you have find out uh, P disjunction Q. So and also you have written what is R. So just take the negation. What is the definition of negation? If there is true means if there is 1, we need to write 0. If there is 0, we need to write 1. So for that reason, I am writing negation R as what? Wherever I have 1 in this column, I will make that as 0 in this column. Where I have, wherever I have 0, I will make that as 1. That's all. I have done. Same thing will be applicable for P disjunction Q. So wherever you have 1, make that as 0. Wherever you have 0, make that as 1. That's all. So that is what I have done. Then take implication. Implication definition is what? 1 0 I will identify where is 1 0 1 0 is 0 1 0 is 0 similarly 1 0 is 0 the rest of the values are 1 finally I will make this column this column as 1 
and this column as 2. So, 1 by conditional 2 I will go with. 1 by conditional 2. What is the definition of by conditional? If both the truth values are same, we will make that values as 1. So, here both the truth values 1, 1 we have. So, that is 1. 0, 0 we have. That is why it is 1. 1, 1 is also 1. 0, 0 is also 1. So, therefore, when I observe column 1 and column 2, all the values are uh, having the same truth value. So, we can make the truth value the last uh, uh, column as 1. So, when I observe the last column, I can say that the given compound proposition is a tautology. This is how we need to prove the uh, problem and verify the given problem. Or in case if one of the values is uh, 0 here on the last column, if one of the value is uh, 0, we can say that it is contingency. We can say that as contingency. If In case if all the truth values are 0, then we can say that it is contradiction. If it is only one value is 0 and one value is uh, uh, 1, then it is called as contingency. Moving on to next problem. Using the laws of logic, using the laws of logic, prove the following logical equivalence. So, they have been provided uh, here compound proposition. I need to consider the uh, left hand side and I need to prove that it is logically equivalent to the right hand side part. By using laws of logic, don't use a uh, truth table. You need to use laws of logic. So, consider uh, the uh, left hand side. I have considered the compound proposition left hand side. This is equal to logically equivalent to this implies. So, logically equivalent to now I will apply uh, the uh, loss of logic here. So, when I observe this uh, compound proposition, I need to get a P and negation Q should be left out with conjunction. So, for that reason, I will not disturb the first uh, term that is first compound proposition. First, I will disturb this uh, uh, false disjunction P, false disjunction P by identity law, false disjunction P is always P itself. So, I have applied identity law and I have taken that as P. You are left out with P conjunction P. P conjunction P is P. P conjunction P is P by using laws of idempotent law. By using law of idempotent law, where we can write P conjunction P as P itself. Then, then I will apply distribution law. So, negation P, negation P, conjunction P, disjunction, distributing over disjunction, negation P, conjunction, negation Q, conjunction P, I have written here. So, by applying distribution law. So, I know what is uh, inverse law and commutative law. By inverse law, negation P, conjunction P is always false. I have not done that. Then I have applied just commutative P conjunction negation Q. Then finally I know identity law. Identity law says that false disjunction P. False disjunction P is always logically equivalent to P itself. In this place P is P conjunction negation Q. So the, therefore I have left out with P conjunction negation Q. That is what the right hand side of the given compound proposition. So, by using laws of logic, I have proved that these two are logically equivalent. This is how to prove the given problem by using laws of logic as uh, logically equivalent. Moving on to next problem. Give direct proof and proof by contradiction for the statement if n is an odd integer, then n plus 9 is, is an even integer. This is just an example I am going to provide. Means the whatever the model question paper is an reference for you people. You can just refer the type of question they are going to ask. So, there are uh, so many problems on direct proof and indirect proof. So, but in this case, only they have been asked direct proof and proof by contradiction. They have not asked the indirect proof. They may also ask indirect proof in the examination. You need to know how to solve or how to give the solution for that. Now, going with the solution, first I will decide the hypothesis. So, what is P and what is Q here? So, the P is N is an 
odd integer the p values n is an odd integer and q is n plus 9 is an even integer i have defined p as n is an odd integer and q is an n plus 9 is an even integer then i will go with the direct proof that i need to prove that p implies q so if then condition if then condition i will use so let for that reason i will consider uh, the p is true let n is an odd integer that is what they have given which implies what n is equal to 2m plus 1 for all m belongs to integer see here n is an odd integer right for that reason i have consider n as what 2m plus 1 2m is what e1 e1 plus 1 will be an odd always so therefore n is what now 2m plus 1 for all m belongs to z now consider the hypothesis called q q is what n plus 9 n plus 9 n plus 9 what is n i have defined substitute that value i am just substituting n as what 2n plus 1 2m plus 1 plus 9 plus 1 plus 9 becomes what plus 10 so i have a common term called 2 take out that term you are left out with m plus 5 so m plus 5 can be denoted as what k so therefore i got n plus 9 equal to 2k 2k is nothing but what just now i told 2m is even like that 2k will be an even integer so i got even integer hence i have proved that if n is an odd integer then n plus 9 will be an even integer so hence by direct proof i have proved that if n is an odd integer then n plus 9 is an even integer moving on to proof by contradiction so to prove by contradiction so we are going to assume that p implies q is false what we are going to assume if p is true and q is false it is final answer is false so or we can also say that that is what i have given here p is true and q is false so i will assume that i am going to assume that p is true that is whatever they have given n is an odd integer n is an odd integer and q is what n plus 9 is an odd integer but in the given statement n plus 9 is an even integer see here in the hypothesis i have considered n plus 9 is an even integer but now i am assuming that an negative statement called negation of q is an odd odd integer so by considering that n will be what n is 2m plus 1 m n will be 2m plus 1 since n is an odd integer then now consider n plus 9 n plus 9 so n plus 9 is what i have considered n plus 9 as even uh, odd integer therefore 2m plus 1 so then shifting this term 9 shifting this term 9 to the right hand side that becomes what minus 9 so plus 1 minus 9 becomes what minus 8 again i have an common term called 2 so i will take out that common term 2 You are left out with m minus four. M minus four is nothing but an again. Uh, we can consider that value as k, and we are going to get two k. Two k is nothing but what an even integer. So now finally I got n is an even integer, which is contradiction to our assumption as we are considered n as what odd integer. We are coming with an even integer. Hence we say that n is an even integer, which contradicts to our proposition or proposition hence we can say that by proof of contradiction the proof is false for our assumption so this uh, this is the way to prove the problem of uh, uh, mathematical logic so i will be continuing the next uh, question that is question number 2 in the upcoming video so those who have liked this uh, video kindly do subscribe to my youtube channel and please press like button and also share this video to your friends thank you all for watching this video